We couldn't pass up the opportunity to come back to Oregon for Thanksgiving with our family. Responsibly distanced, of course. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Some of my favorite things, Halloween, Star Wars, and cooking. I don't like to make something for the first time during Thanksgiving, so I'm going to experiment. And right now I'm making deconstructed sweet potato appetizer. Then you put the butter, two tablespoons, and maple syrup. And then you mix it together. I use yams instead of sweet potatoes. I like the color and the flavor better. Then you bake them at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, turning after 10 minutes. Oops, forgot the salt. Now back in the oven. So I've been wanting an Instant Pot for a while. I have a generic one, and I found this killer deal on a six quart nine in one for $49. So I had to get one. And here it is. And because I just got this and I want to try it out, I challenged Chris's mom to a soup duel. So we're both gonna make Sapa soup and see whose turns out the best. Mine takes coconut milk. So it's gonna be a little different. Bring it. I'll bring it. Don't worry. I never do. You never heard of Zappa soup? Neither has Chris. Kate says she's making Zappa soup. I said, I never heard that. She said, sure you have. It's an olive garden. She explained it to me. She said, you know, well, it's soup with sausage. You mean Zappa Toscana? Yeah, that's the one. Now you know what Kate's Zappa soup is. Cut up four russet potatoes. Then I look at the recipe. Never made it before, but it looked good. And one yellow onion chopped, which always makes you cry. <laughs> then after that, you're going to mince up three garlic cloves. <laughs> That's a strong onion. It is. Now I need two cups of kale. Now I need five cups of broth. I'm using better than bouillon, roasted chicken base. I already put five cups of water in here. Now I need five teaspoons. Or approximately. But then you taste it because if it doesn't taste good to you, it's not going to taste good in the broth. That's light, so I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Let you do it. Very good, very good. You know something? Mm. No soup for you! Welcome to Carol's Zuppa Toscana Soup Recipe Cook-Off. Using my, uh, my favorite cutting board made for me by my friend Carol Peterson. We start by slicing our potatoes. And we don't put our fingers off. And I tell your daughter and all that. Her knife skills are terrifying. Step two, we use three cups of chicken stock and put it in our crock pot. Oh, it's not a crock pot, it's a stock pot. They sound alike when we work different. And I never heard to have a dash extra. One half heavy cream, put that in with our stock over medium heat. Now we put our potatoes in, give this a little stir. Medium heat. Okay, we're going to add the kale, then we're going to fry up some sausage. And the sausage will be mild and hot Italian. I've known some hot Italians, but I've never known a mild Italian. Our final step, add the sausage. Crushed red pepper flakes to taste. And finally, just a little salt. Just really like a half a teaspoon of salt here. And of course we measure that with our 
flamingo. Our flamingo measuring spoons. That's it. We're going to stir it and simmer for one hour. Then the test is on. Who will receive the Toscana soup crown? Wow, you guys have a crown? You guys are really taking this seriously. I do have a crown. And it's going to be. Oh my gosh, she has a crown. Ta-da! Decided to do the rest over here at Countdown Central. What's Countdown Central? You know, mom's house. <laughs> so I put oil in it and um, saute. This is why you chop everything beforehand so you don't have to uh, wait for everything. And that is Daisy. And toss for three garlic. And also, I didn't have a garlic press, so it doesn't help. There we go. Oops. You run out of time. <laughs> now, that means I have to turn these over. Okay, and then 10 minutes, you turn them over without burning yourself. And then I put in the sausage. This time I'm using mild. Oh, that could be a difference. Yeah. Contestant number two is using a mix of hot and mild. Yes. But, oops. Oh, and uh, don't forget to take the paper off. Oops. So it's going to have a little bit of fiber. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Got excited. Getting to cook. I think you're pulling ahead in the early running, Mom. <laughs> See, all the paper's off. And then you brown the meat. So what do you feel about Katie's revolutionary idea to actually include the packaging from the sausage in the soup? Fiber. I find fiber to be very healthy, especially in a sausage soup. TMI. And you cry some more, because the onions are really spicy, watery, I don't know, whatever the, whatever you call these. They make you, your eyes hurt a lot. Do you need to talk to somebody about your horrible life, darling? <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Let's see, what's next? Uh, I'm supposed to, sausage, so we'll put the broth in with the sausage and the potatoes and herbs. This also says you're supposed to drain the fat, but there isn't any fat in this. So, now I put in my chicken broth. Here. And make, make sure you sc scrape the bottom because it'll say burn if you don't scrape the bottom and there's stuff left over. Add the potatoes. And the herbs. Cure the lid. High pressure for 12 minutes. Done. Yep. All right. Now we put. Oh, I used the square. I thought these were cute. Put the square ones. I roasted these pecans last night because pff, everything's better roasted. Now you broil them till. They're nice and gooey and brown. Oh, oh. wow, look at oh. those. Wow, those really perk up. Very simple. On flamingo plates. All right. Oh, they have marshmallows on them. Ready? Well, they're boiling hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot, hot. <laughs> okay, ready? Good. Yeah, these are a, these are a winner. Whoever had it on Instagram, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we make some noise. Let's do that outside. Instant Pot Facials by Kate. Then I add the cake. 
nail. Then you put it on saute and wait for the kale to wilt. And then I add the coconut milk. A little bit of red pepper flakes, depending on how much you want. Pepper to taste. Now I'm gonna to start to add, I think it needs more coconut milk. Taste Everybody's test, switched. which one's which? Katie's first. Good. Mm. Very good. Tastes like? Very rich. I am shuddering in my boots if I had boots on. <laughs> rich <laughs> and flavorful. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now Carol's. Hers has a better color to it, it's very pretty. I give you the crown. Uh, let's go around the corner. Which one do you think is better? Um, Carol. Katie's. I like the richer flavor of mine. I like yours better too. <laughs> oh, you win. You get the crown. Wait, wait, we have to do oh. <laughs> But they're both really good. I you crown you soup queen, also known as soup Nazi queen. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. It was Muscle her recipe. For you. <laughs> <laughs> now, all the bread. We're just gonna eat. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>